welcome in this video we are going to discuss how to work with WDI indicators data word development indicators data how to read data directly and how to have animated plots as you can see right now on the screen so you can have uh, this all uh, <clears throat> and we are going to discuss this so here we have this data uh, from world development indicators directly in R library GG themes is for particular New York Times themes, uh, Tufte, uh, Wall Street Journal themes, Economist themes, and GG animate is for animating the graph. Uh, library WDI, so all data which is in w, uh, world development indicators will be available after installing this package and loading this package. You can set your theme auto okay now we are interested in export indicators but which which type of export indicators so what do we do uh, wdi search export no field name cache null so that previous uh, there is nothing there okay now you see there are so many more than 180 indicators export volume index merchandise index export export price in which indicator we are interested well we are interested in export of goods and services whose name is this one so we are go now going to get this data for all the countries of the world and for all the years available from 1980 to 2021 you can do this in this way directly but it may and you can do rest of the operation sometimes if your internet is slow or there are some other issues you may not get this data so as a result i i am going to do it in front of uh, you at the same time i have saved it for uh, you see uh, for uh, the, uh, so that the, the, if there is an issue in the internet uh, downloading i can use it so let's first of all try to uh, don't uh, read this data directly world development indicators country all indicator export start date 1980 end date is you can select your indicator here more than one indicator two indicators three indicators which i'll describe in a short while so just i control enter it may take time it's running here but it may take time So now you see we have this data, we have blue prompt here, it means this data is there. So if I say take DF export and we can uh, glimpse. So you have now 11,172 observations on five variables country and year in exports. So I have saved this data for convenience so that in case uh, the internet is not working i can use this and i have used this command save since i have saved so i'm going to comment it Control shift c so, so i'm going to comment it now i am going to read this data here and i'm going to now filter data of whatever country is of my choice so country equal Pakistan or country double equal India, country double equal China, Brazil, whatsoever, Malaysia, Indonesia or Nigeria. So now you see this is da this data is only for Pakistan. And if you don't uh, see this whole, so you can write down here view and you will have this data for Pakistan only from 2021 to 20 here I am going to filter this data Bangladesh Pakistan and now you see I have data DF export filter country Pakistan country Bangladesh and I am going to calculate export in millions of dollars so I have divided it by uh, 1 million so I just enter here just wait a moment I am going to have animated graph in front of you. So I'm going to make a ggplot, data name, year, variable, color, country, geom, line, and we are going to have this one, find G. Okay, this is, this is the graph which you will get it, but we are going to, we need animated one. So gganimate helps you 
to have animated so this whole graph this whole graph which you have made here just add a very simple command plus uh, transition transition reveal and your time is here look here that's the magic that's the magic and now you can have the same graph which you have been uh, which you have seen in the beginning of the video it's taking a little time because it has uh, it's it's going to be an animated one okay go ahead please yes ah that's it Th that's okay 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 no you see this is our graph so simply and at in 2018 you see 20, uh, 2012 13 bangladesh has crossed pakistan export and now it's increasing at a very rapid rate so that's that's how you can have this animated graph now you see we don't have uh, we don't need to download any data we can work directly with uh, uh, world development indicators and we can have animated graphs as well so similar things you can select india pakistan whatsoever you want you you can save it you can save it that is anim uh, save export dot gif animated and now i have this data animated gif here with me and uh, we we can save it okay at the moment i am going to skip this and uh, going to have some more data you can directly download it from world development without saving no i have this selected world development indicators uh, four five and i have saved it to save my time so i am going to read this data here uh, selected indicators no these are the selected indicators what are these indicators so you see I have selected uh, electricity availability, uh, current account balance, inflation, and uh, uh, interest rate spread. So whatever type of indicator you need, you can download it. You just name it. You just write down here, uh, write down here WDI search and give a an single indicator or more than one indicator. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ma uh, make uh, it. Okay. Again. And it's for all the countries and you can save it for, uh, 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 you can save the whole data and then you can do work uh, uh, for country of your interest. So I have this one, WDI, country double equal Pakistan, inflation, I have it in, uh, divided by 100 and again ggplot because it knows this previous data is its data. So ggplot plus aesthetic and I am going to theme steve webb basically i am using uh, steve miller uh, theme post bg and these are the things which you can learn during gg plot learning for better graph making and i have done here labels consumer price index annual and all that and you will have uh, this graph okay something wrong something went wrong okay cpi by 100 and uh, <coughs> wait for a moment please so uh, i think i have i haven't run these things so therefore it does not know that cpi data is there no we'll not have an issue that's that so you have this consumer price index and you can minimize this and uh, you, you have a, this beautiful graph here, a bar chart of inflation and 2022 data is not yet available on WDI. And similarly, you can have it for current account deficit, current account balance. So that's that's the only time period when Pakistan 2000 have some current account uh, balance positive. Otherwise, it has always been in the negative. So you can play with world development indicators data in R without downloading data, without filtering, without doing all those things which you used to do in Excel and you can have, uh, you see, so many things in R. So that, that's, that's the objective of this uh, exercise. I hope it will help you a lot in playing with panel data, with WDI data and doing so many things with WDI data. Thank you for watching. Take care.